And hello everyone, Bo Williams here in the WAT6 in your side newsroom. As we do every Friday, I want to get you up to date on what's happening out on the roads. want to get you from point A to point B with as little problem as possible. And of course, we've got road work going on. We've got potholes obviously still out there. The crews are uh, addressing the issues out there on the roadway, especially on the interstates. Uh, we've been seeing video throughout the week from TDOT up in Campbell County along I-75. Still though, if you travel I-40 right through downtown near Alcoa Highway, you'll know it's pretty rough patches through there. Also along some of the state routes, Kingston Pike and some others, some potholes have been popping up. So give yourself plenty of time. Just be careful while you're watching the vehicles in front of you. Also try to glance down from time to time. Keep plenty of space between you and the vehicle in front of you so you can see the roadway in case they may drive over the pothole. They may miss it. You may not. So again, just be careful as we reported TDOT saying on average, uh, the cost to make a repair, especially like to a, a wheel rim, uh, uh, another piece of your vehicle that may be damaged due to potholes on average it costs about four hundred dollars so that's what you're looking at so again if you can avoid it if you can miss it do so if you can't miss the pothole they say just to basically just slow down if you can take your foot off the gas and uh, try to hit it as, as as easy as possible so Lori Tucker passing behind us right now say a big a hello stop sign. that's what I've just been told with the red. <laughs> Lori is a stop <laughs> sign as we talk traffic I like it <laughs> But we're going to keep going. We're not stopping. We're going to keep going. But anyhow, be careful out there. Watch out for those TDOT crews there out there patching those potholes, uh, trying to do that as, as fast as they can. But again, it's still going to take some time. There's a lot of issues around the area. All right, let's take a look here at the map, get everybody up to date. Uh, again, this is uh, Friday, February 2nd. Happy Groundhog Day, by the way. Uh, this is how things are shaping up. Just one alert right now being posted, and this is in Morristown. Uh, we'll pull it up for you. It's an emergency road work, State Route 343. This is in uh, Morristown. Uh, right, it was reported around 432 on the 3rd of January. So they've been out there working for some time. Southbound lane is closed. We'll kind of zoom in here a little bit closer, kind of show you, get you a better idea of where they're in Morristown, right in the heart really of Morristown. But you can see a couple of places they're posted. Southbound lanes are closed for that emergency road work. So just be careful. That's uh, This is 343 northbound. This is 343 southbound. It looks like it's right there between, uh, was that uh, first and uh, main street. So again, just kind of be careful. That's been going on for the bulk of the week. And that's really, again, the only alert that we are seeing right now as we bring the map back, kind of take it wide for a second. No other alerts being posted right now around the area. We do want to give you a quick look, though, using the TDOT Smartway cameras, as we like to do every Friday, in case you're getting ready to head out. Maybe you're checking us out online at work. Right now, I-40 at West Hills. Traffic there looks good. Both directions, east and westbound. Not too heavy, but that will change, obviously, especially once we get past 4 o'clock into the 5 o'clock hour. We'll really start to see those areas start to pick up. Another live look for you right now. This is I-40 over near Lovell Road right now. Heavier traffic there, but it is moving. It's not stop and go at this time, so we like to see that. No accidents right now to slow you down. We'll take a look here at I-640 up around Broadway. Light traffic for you on 640 end to end both directions. Now keep in mind, you still have that road work happening on 640 kind of north and east of town over near Millertown, Washington Pike, those areas. Still have just two lanes open eastbound and two lanes open westbound. Uh, the barrels are out, but traffic right now moving along just fine through there. So again, no major problems to worry about. So right now, if you're ready to head out the door, you should be in pretty good shape. Last spot I do want to check for you here. We'll hit uh, Alcoa Highway. We'll head down toward the airport. Maybe you need to head toward McGee Tyson or you know someone's going to be coming from that direction. Right now, Alcoa Highway looking okay. And, and I do want to mention, speaking of McGee Tyson, getting a little off track here, but they're going to start work on that new uh, parking garage on the 5th, so next week, and they're going to have to close down part of long-term parking. Uh, not all of it, but some of it. They'll uh, adjust and they'll move a lot of that parking out to the economy lot. So if you are going to be flying out beginning next week and usually park long-term, check the, the McGee Tyson website. Uh, they'll let you know how full they are, but uh, your best bet may be just be to go over to economy lot and then they'll walk from there. But that's going to be starting next week, and they'll be going on for a while until they get that new parking uh, complex uh, built there at McGee Tyson. A lot of changes coming to the airport area. Let's take a look at some projects that are going to be coming up 
in our area, first of all, in Anderson County, 75 northbound near mile marker 127, beginning on Tuesday, February 6th. Uh, this is going to run through that Wednesday, the 7th. Watch out for possible lane closures between 9 a.m. and 3 in the afternoon. Uh, there's some maintenance activity that needs to be done along that stretch of I-75 in Anderson County. Uh, crews will be out there. You could see some stop traffic, but again, this will be uh, Tuesday and Wednesday along I-75 northbound right there near mile marker 127. And that all starts again Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So if you'll be traveling in Anderson County, just know to watch out for that. Another spot we're watching for you as we kind of get you ready for the weekend and the week ahead. We're going to head over to I-81. Uh, let's see, Jefferson County. This is I-81 between the zero mile marker and the seven mile marker. So again, it's right there. Starting really here at the 4081 split and then going seven miles north there on I-81. Here's what they've got going on there. Wednesday, February 7th, uh, watch out for possible lane closures. This again will be between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, this is uh, more uh, just maintenance activities that they need to take care of there along I-81. That could be anything from uh, patching potholes to guardrail repairs, just things that need to be done, whether it's on the shoulder or in the roadway. Could see some temporary lane closures. But again, this is going to be I-81. And let me double check that as north and southbound between uh, mile marker seven and the uh, 4081 interchange. So watch for that in Jefferson County. Uh, that could cause some delays. And again, that starts on Wednesday. So the Anderson County work Tuesday, Wednesday, Jefferson County work Wednesday. And again, both all those are gonna be from nine to three. So it could cause some significant issues for you if you're gonna be uh, driving in those areas. A spot we all know and love, Alcoa Highway. The project continues. It'll be going on for a long time. Of course, a lot of the focus right now happening just south of Cherokee. Uh, along this stretch here, we've had those rolling roadblocks for weeks upon weeks. Have not seen an alert, at least lately, concerning rolling roadblocks for next week. But the work will continue next week along that stretch of Alcoa Highway. This will be from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. So it's the overnight hours. But uh, still, you're going to need to watch out for those crews uh, after 7 o'clock. Still a lot of traffic through there. And then obviously the early morning hours. But again, that's going to be Knox County. That's uh, Alcoa Highway between Woodson Drive and Cherokee Trail. Again, no uh, official alerts from TDOT as far as those rolling roadblocks that we see during the daytime. But uh, as of right now, we're just expecting those overnight hours where you could see work and uh, some lane reductions in that section of uh, Alcoa Highway. So watch out for that, especially on the, Al on the uh, Knox County side. All right, another stop for you right now as we continue to take you around. This is one that's been around for a while, and it's continuing. This is uh, West Knoxville. This is Kingston Pike between Wesley Road and Golf Club Road. Uh, already have a few delays in there. If you've driven through here, you know it's a very busy spot. You're talking really the area between Paper Mill, which turns into Golf Club Road, but Paper Mill and Wesley. So you've got the Weigels in here, P.F. Chang's. Uh, you've got the uh, Bearden uh, Library branch right in this area here. And obviously down here, Whole Foods, REI, the whole shopping center down here. So a lot of traffic comes through here on Kingston Pike. You could see some delays. There could be lane shifts, uh, lane closures. Uh, just be prepared for about anything. They'll have the barrels out when they are out there working. But the, the work is scheduled between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. each week. And then they could be out there as well 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. So there's two times there where crews are expected to be out. Doesn't mean they will always Always be out there but just be prepared in that area where you could see some delays but again this is a construction project that's been going on for a, a while now along that section of Kingston Pike but that's between Wesley Road and Golf Club Road or Paper Mill and uh, again just watch out for those closures begin but let me give you those times for next week 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and then again 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. there you go just be just be be aware all right another stop for you here as we continue on this is a look, uh, let's see what we've got here. This is in Union County. This is another one of those projects. It's been going on now for a while. It's gonna take some time. It's a pretty long stretch of uh, Highway 33, really from the Knox Union County line all the way up to 144 here. So just south of Maynardville. The crews are gonna continue that project. They'll be working there. They're doing some uh, widening of the roadway. Uh, again, it's a pretty uh, significant stretch of th uh, 33. Uh, they've already done the work all the way up to the Knox County line. Now they're just extending it into Union County and all the way up to just before you get to Maynardville where once again, it widens to four lanes. So crews will be out there next week Week as well working so watch for that so just a handful of areas where you're going to see some slowdowns crews are going to be present the weather's supposed to be decent so they're going to try to get a lot of this done they, uh, obviously with the snow we've had and even uh, the rain at times uh, there's really slowed some of these projects down so, but here's an opportunity over the next week or so where they can really make up some time on these projects so again watch for that let's bring it back here to the main 
map. We'll go wide here for a moment. And again, still the only major issue we're seeing is over in the Morristown area. But let's kind of go around one more time, check out some of the other cameras. Also, we are seeing some delays up along Emory Road. Uh, this is in the Powell Halls area. Uh, also in Halls Cross Road, also seeing quite a few slowdowns, especially coming up 441 right now. Let's take a look at some of the T dots. Uh, we'll bring up, uh, let's see, 75 here near Merchant. Traffic there looks like it's moving along okay for you. Beautiful day, by the way. Uh, to be out for a drive. No doubt about that. Yesterday was great. Today, just as nice. But north and southbound 75 there looking good. Slide down to 275. Uh, let's take it right here at the corner. This is a, a, a tough spot. Let's see if we can get this to come up for you. There you go. Uh, this is a spot where you do see a number of accidents and you want to slow it down. Uh, it's 55 and uh, for a time that they had to slow down to 45, if you remember back in the day. And then it came to and they put a um, a uh, groove in the pavement to better help tires grip because a lot of people were taking, especially when it was raining a little bit too fast. And that's why we're seeing a number of accidents here. This is just north of Woodland, Oldham. That exit's just around the corner there. But this is north and southbound 275. Right now, traffic there, though, moving along just fine for you. So you're not going to see any delays. There goes a school bus heading southbound back toward the city. One more stop for you here. We'll go here right into the heart of town. Let's take I-40 at 275. And again, traffic right now looks good. This will change by about 4 or 5 o'clock today. And speaking of which, keep in mind the sun now setting just a hair after 6 o'clock. So from about 5.30 to 6 o'clock, if you're going to be heading westbound, I don't care if you're on 40, Kingston Pike, Westland, Western, um, any major thoroughfare where you're going westbound, sunglasses will be the norm as that sun's going to be right in that prime spot uh, to get right in your eyes there. So just be prepared for that westbound traffic as the sun now starting to set just a little after 6 o'clock. All right, that's how things are shaping up. Always happy to uh, hear from you. Again, you can always uh, reach out at Bo Williams at WATE.com uh, if you have any questions about traffic around the area. Otherwise, be safe, and uh, we look forward to uh, getting together again next Friday. Again, if you have any questions, just reach out. We'll get them answered for you.